What's up, everybody? It's your host with the most Boulevard Burns, and today we come at you with the newest released. I don't think it's the hottest released, but I think it's one. You know what am I saying? All right, guys. But this is a basically a pickup video. These dropped today. Today is February seventeenth. If you guys don't know what dropped today, then you're a little slow. Here's the box. Now let's see what we got. My box came a little messed up. I'm kind of sad about that, for starters. But boom, that Nike tag. You already know what it is. We got the black cement threes with the Nike Air on the ass. Look at that, crisp. This pair is still dead stock. I have tried the other one on. Got the Nike Air branding on the outsole. As well as the insole. Look at that tumble leather. Crisp. Beautiful. The only complaint that I have about these, in my honest opinion, is um the paint. Let me see if I can. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like little like pits on the paint. I'm pretty sure you could see. So the paint is all right. There's like little paint flaws. So you can see right there, the little, right there are my, are my fingers pointing at, touching the white part right there. And this is the pair I had. This is the pair I tried on. It's fucking, oh, these fit so beautifully. They, fit, they're so, they're like, they're comfy. It's, they're comfy. Oh. You already know I got that OG all down the receipt. You can get Washington. So here's a story. Here's a story about these that goes along with these. So, um, I had been wanting. I had been wanting to cop these shoes for a while. Ever since I found out that they were gonna release. So like last year, last year I found out that they were gonna um release these with the Nike Air on the. Okay, there's the box. I found out that they were gonna release with the Nike Air on the back or whatever, and I was stoked. I was like, damn, you know, because this is one shoe I've honestly been wanting for like over here ever since i got into ogs i wanted an o1 pair but then you know you need a new you need a sole swap and a tab swap because the tabs just crack no matter what so i didn't really i didn't really want to go through all that work again like how i did with my fives because my fives didn't come out the way i wanted to so you know i don't really trust anybody with reglues anymore but yeah so like these came out I was like, damn, you know, I have to have them. I was, I posted up like five pairs of shoes on the, on like the Facebook groups and everything, trying to sell them, and just trying to get my fucking, just trying to get money for these, right? And then, so a matter of the fact is, um, my mom asked me what I was gonna be doing. And I was like, or I was just telling her about how I, about how these shoes were coming out and how I liked them so much and everything. And then my birthday is on the twenty eighth. So my mom last night when I was chilling with my girlfriend, my mom texted me saying, you know what? I know that you want these shoes, and I know that's something you get um, excited about or whatever. So I'm gonna buy you these shoes for your birthday as an early birthday present. And I was like, damn, you know, like my heart just dropped. You know, I was just so grateful and everything. Cause these shoes aren't cheap. They're two, two hundred sixteen twenty to be exact. That's with um, that's with tax and everything. They're two hundred retail, and then the sixteen dollars plus tax. But yeah, and then you know, I just felt so grateful. So I told my mom, I was like, look, if you're gonna give me these shoes, I'm gonna need to go over to either Yakima or Tri Cities. Yakima's thirty minutes away. Tri Cities is about like forty. 45 so i was like fuck it i'll just go to yakima i don't think there'll be people there i think I, you know people were saying that these were going to be grs you know some people were saying that they were going to be self shitter self sitters and right now i can tell you that these didn't sit on the shelves when i got to yakima i got there about 10 minutes early we me and my girlfriend were i brought my girlfriend with me and then we were in front of the in front of the finish line just waiting and then i was like yo let's sit down you know store doesn't open for another 20 minutes so we were sitting down and then like i see like Three people, three people come, and they're waiting there or whatever. So I, I was like, "Yo, let's go up there and um, let's wait in line then or whatever." And so I'm in line. I'm fourth in line. There's three guys right there just waiting, and then more people start showing up. Probably like another five, six people. Actually, like ten. Another ten show up. And then there was this guy. Uh, there, there's this couple look like they came. And the first thing she asked, she just sees all the people there. She's like, "What size are you gonna get? What size are you gonna get? What size are you gonna get?" She just starts asking everybody what sizes they were gonna get. And I told her, I'm going to get an 11. Some other guy said an 11. 
and then someone else said 10 and 8 and then some guy said 13 or whatever and then yeah blah blah we're just talking and then the guy who said that he was a 13 or whatever uh he's like aren't they supposed to be giving away the raffled pairs first and then it's everybody and i was and i talked to one of the guys who works there shout out david wearing the ultra boots you, you sold me beaters and then I was, uh, I was saying, I was like, no, David said it was first come, first serve after 10. And 10 is when the finish line opened. And then he was like, I still think there's raffle winners and all this. And I was like, Ole, you know. And then um, he was just saying, going on about it. And I, was, and I knew that it was a first come, first serve. Because originally I was going to go to Yakima at, um, at I was going to leave there at 1030, get there around 11. But as soon as I found out they were first come for serve, I left at 9.15, got there 9.45, and then I was out the store by like 10.06. So, yeah. Yeah, and then so I'm in line. I'm the first one. The guy who said he was a size 13 is like, yo, let's make a line. Let's make everything easier or whatever. So we make the line real quick. And there's probably like 12 people in this line as it stands, like 10, 15. And so the store opens. They ring up the, the rack or whatever, and then they go and... um. What do they do? They they open up, they're like, Alright, first come for serve, who was here first? And so the guy who was who was there first, he's like they're like, What size do you need? Oh, so at first they only said they had five sizes in an eight, eight and a half no an eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, eleven, and an eleven and a half. That's they said that those are the only sizes that they had left or whatever. And I was like, Damn, you know, like these must be really limited or something, like I won't I wonder what's going on, you know? And then, so the first guy's like a 10. So he gets a 10. Then the guy after him, oh, I was, I, I, my heart almost dropped. He said, I need that. He's like, I'm going to get the 11. I was like, damn, you know, I'm like, damn. He took my size, but they had an 11 and a half. So I was like, mm, I, might, I might just have to cop the 11 and a half, you know, maybe size swap somebody, you know, do whatever, you know. Because 11 fits perfect with the, with the force fields and everything or the sneaker shields. And then so after that, he was, he gets the 11. The guy in front of me gets an 8. Everybody pays, you know, and then it comes up to me and then David, the guy who was there, he's like, what size do you need, bro? And I was like, you guys got another 11? And he's like, yeah, we do. And I was like, damn. Oh, so before I got up there to the counter, I told my girlfriend, I was like, yo, can you go to the Foot Action or the other sneaker store over there and see if they have an 11 just in case they don't have it here? And then she's like, yeah, no problem. And so she goes down there, she goes to see if there's an 11. They only had a nine and a half left. So, and then they had some reserved pairs or something that they said some stupid shit. And we were like, Ola, you know? And then, so I get my size, my size, my size 11, the box. I was like, ooh, you know, crisp. And then I get it, I pay for it, and then I leave, and then me and my girlfriend go to Denny's for breakfast because it was early, you know? I was I was appreciative and shit, you know? It was really good. Really good day. Really good start to the day. But yeah. Uh, first impressions, quality, like this is soft. Toe box is soft. It's 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 better than the true blues. Than the true blues, it can relate to like I don't know. They're like soft like yin yangs. Softer actually. But yeah, you could just get a look at that. The tumble leather is just so nice, honestly. You guys want to see me try one on? All right. I know that phone's gonna fucking slide. And here it is, 26, 2016, 20, 2018, Black Cement 3. Yeah, on feet, these just feel so comfy. Like the insole is just so comfy. And, like, I really like these. These are going to be my new beaters for sure. Always wanted a black cement 3 with the Nike Air on the S. And now I finally got it. Okay, so. Boost over Jumpman or Jumpman over Boost? Let me know in the comments down below. But, yeah, guys. This has been my pick-up video. I'm going on telling you my life story. So, yeah. This has been your host with the most Boulevard Burns. And we'll catch you later. Ciao.